the Wednesday Night Blitz. Presented by Jura's Pizza Parlor and Sports Bar and Moxie Credit Union. Welcome to the Wednesday Night Blitz. High school football from the field to your screen. I'm Frankie Tovar. And I'm Eddie Ruiz. There's only two weeks left in the 2014 season. Man, time flew by. Some teams have playoff hopes still alive. Other teams are completely out of the tournament. One of those teams who still has postseason aspirations is Dell High High, who is in an up and down battle this Friday against Waterford High and they merge victorious 40 to 36. Now the Hawks had a couple of guys who were stat stars, hands down. Garrett Songs, the quarterback at the beginning of the year, got injured, came back in an entirely new role. He was the running back. He tallied 104 rushing yards, okay? How about that? And he had three combined touchdowns. It was two on the ground and then one through the air. Jesse Flores now on the defensive side. This guy had a dozen tackles combined. And we can't forget about Jesus Soto. This guy had 79 rushing yards on the ground, and they came critically right there in the second half of the game. Also, the quarterback, so they pulled up their JV starting quarterback, and this guy is already in his third game, and he played very smart. Louis Avalos, we gotta give him credit, scored two touchdowns. So this is how the game started off. Waterford, they think they have something going. No, it all happened so fast, the camera guy even missed it. Jesse Flores, he returned it for a touchdown, 36 yards for the first score. And after that quick touchdown, Del High's defense has kept it going. Although Charles Shepard connects with a long pass right here with his receiver, on the ensuing play, Nick Ruiz steps right in front of the pass and intercepts the ball at the one yard line. Talk about clutch. Super clutch. The Hawks defense only gave up a couple of big plays from the Waterford Wildcats, and that was one of them right here. Dante Bergeron runs in for 25 yards, their first score. Dale High answers right back. Garrett Thomas, you can't see him, but he's running, he's bumbling, and he's into the end zone from 42 yards out. Man, it was great, and Garrett Thomas just kept it rolling. He was definitely the workhorse of the game, running up and down the field, left and right. Those Wildcats were having a hard time. Look at Thomas, just being an absolute beast. He leaps into the end zone, scores another touchdown. And that defense has kept it going. Jesse Fuller is making more tackles, piling on. And right here, it looks like Waterford's about to score, but no, it's a fumble strip and they recover. <laughs> Dale just kept pumping it on the ground though, and it was finally Louis Avalos after a five play, 53 yard drive who plunged his way into the end zone for a score, one of two. And look at this aggressive play call, look at that onside kick, they get it, Jose Davos comes up the ball, he's pumped, and I tell you what, it led to another scoring drive from Del High. This is where we see Garrett Thomas show off his arm, he used to be a quarterback, back to old habits, passing it to Nick Ruiz for the touchdown. And here was another one of those big plays from the quarterback, Shepard. My goodness, he finds a sophomore deep, and that ended with a four yard touchdown run for Dylan Farquhar. And it was this right here, the only mistake of the game, really, that just kept the momentum in the Wildcats' hands. An interception from Garrett Thomas on the pitch pass. Number 11 returns it all the way down inside the five, resulting in a two-yard plunge from number 10, Ryan Cherry. <laughs> and Waterford just kept that momentum as Jesse Flores let off an eight-yard punt that set them up deep in Del High's territory. Dante Bergeron right here nearly added another touchdown as he ran his way in six yards, but no. Again, it was this man right here, Ryan Cherry, for a two-yard touchdown run. And look at that fake kick for the two-point conversion. They're trying to win this game. They're trying to climb back in. He leaps into the end zone, and at this point, it's 33 to 28. Here's Jesus Soto with one of his very big critical runs late in the game that kept Del High's last drive alive. Critical third down conversion look, he kept running and sets up this last touchdown. And why not end the game the way he started it with a lights out play on defense? Jose Martinez causes the fumble, and Oscar Hurdy scoops it up to secure the win, and Matt Del High's pumps. Looking back on it now, it's something that I was wanting to do early in the season, but we just, for whatever reason, I didn't have the guts enough to do it. Uh, it was unfortunate that Garrett ended up with an injury, and that's what forced our hand. I was told I wasn't going to make the uh, the rest of the season, so after two and a half weeks, I realized, you know, I just arrested, I took it off, and um, it's made me a lot more humble. We're real pleased with the results. Uh, I tell you what, Louie, right now, he he's he's unshaken. 
and we're proud of the job that he's doing. He stepped in to fill some big shoes, but I tell you what, he's he's really filling them. Coaches told me to run loose, so that's what I'm doing for the rest of the year. I'm just trying to make something happen and make playoff, make the playoffs. We're just glad now that our our offense is starting to match the intensity of our defense on on a on a game to game basis. The league this year, it's really close. Um, all the scores have been really close. Uh, right now, everyone just needs to you know, show up to practice. We need to keep that mentality, that, that family mentality, and we can push through and we can definitely make something happen this year. We just need to keep working hard and work as a team and a family and we'll do it. Before we move forward with the show, let's recognize our sponsors. If you like hot wings, pizza, and icy cold beverages, Jura's Pizza Parlor and Sports Bar is the place for you. A Turlock favorite for more than 30 years, Jura's has built its reputation on delicious food. Come by Jura's during the football season for discounts and special prices. And if you're a player, wear your uniform for even more discounts. Moxie Credit Union is committed to the lending needs of the community. Offering toy loans, various mortgage loans, and competitive rate auto loans. You need a loan? You need Moxie. Drop by and meet their friendly staff at the Turlock Ranch today. That Delhi D was on fire Friday night. They were just laying people out, laying down the hammer on that offensive Waterfords. And it was obviously led by the nose guard position from Jesse Flores, the playmaker for sure on defense. And on offense, there's no doubt that Garrett Thomas was the man who was in control of the game. He ran the ball, he caught the ball, he threw the ball, he even returned kickoffs. And I'll tell you what, if Delhi is going to be successful against Gus Steen next Friday, those two players have to have lights out performances once again. As for us, next Friday, we'll be at Joe Devley Stadium for the pin ultimate matchup of the season. It's Trollock High versus Merced High. That's right, the Bulldogs are taking on the defending CCC champions, and both these teams are the only CCC teams with the undefeated league record. So what does that mean? That means this is a battle for the 2014 CCC title. It's going to be exciting, and it's on Halloween, so talk about a treat. Well, I'd rather be there than uh, trick-or-treating or dressed up. I'm sorry. That's just me. I can't wait. Hey, me too. I'm a football fan, and this Friday is going to be one of the biggest games of the year. So tune in next Wednesday yes. right here at TurlockJournal.com, the YouTube channel, or our Facebook page for our coverage of that big matchup. For Andrew Ruiz, I'm Frankie Tovar. Good night. <laughs>